welcome back to Cottage Tranquility and thank you for joining me for episode four which is a look back um, at a house tour that I filmed in the early early days. Um, had started some of the work and I will show you some of that in um, the next, the follow on uh, video but I wanted to make sure that uh, I released this um, particular house tour to give you sort of a full walk around the interior of the cottage. So I hope you enjoy and thank you once again. You can see we've already started work and before I decided that I was going to do a vlog, let me take you back and see if we can get the whole house in. There we go. And I'll take you around the back of the house to the back garden, show you that. So the past six weeks have been absolute chaos, um, as I've had family and friends here constantly assisting getting the renovation started. And so I'm just going to take you through the chaos, it's organised chaos, <laughs> but chaos nonetheless, um, as things get going. So with the family about we've had paddling pools which are now being dismantled we have a massive garbage pile over there we have fresh washing out today washing the bed linen and that lovely little noise was this young man this is Ben he's one of my two cats who I'm sure will feature heavily And now I'll take you inside. So this back door takes us through to the kitchen. It's a rubbish day today for me. I've got to take it to the local tip. So I'm going to show you everything, warts and all. So yes, we've got all the washing, all the building materials. Dishwasher's just been emptied. Washing's just been put out food here. So this is the lovely kitchen. We have a downstairs toilet. And burn pie. Yes, you have food. Yes. We have taken off, I should take, go through this. We've taken off all of the cladding that was here. I'm going to sand these back as we weren't able to get them all out and um, then fill those holes and uh, this will be painted as I'd rather that than the fake cladding which just made it that bit narrower again so this is the dining room or what will be the dining room all the living rooms at the moment have beds in them as well because as I say it's a renovation nation at the moment there's Aslan with his collar of doom on he's been in a bit of a fight and got himself a little abscess on his leg. He's healing well now. He's on his antibiotics. He's had those this morning and he's had his spray and his food. You're a good boy. So we have the glassware. We have the trusty gin cabinet. Beautiful fireplace. Dining table, a chaise long. And so hopefully I'll get to do some work on this and we'll turn that I'm planning to paint it and just upscale it a little, little bit because it's just a little bit time dated and missing a handle here and there As you see taking the cladding off of the inside of this one again that will be sorted out holes will be filled we did have a look to see if there were anything interesting beneath the plaster work wanted to see what we have but as you can see it just looks like it goes up to concrete for a while then we have what will be the lounge or my quarters um, which is a lounge dining room um, library because I'm mad book except, uh, obsessed and tea yes tea and then we have 
bedroom number one, which I kind of use as a family room. And is currently in the process of being cleaned with an upstairs um, ensuite. In the next episode, I will show you um, any progress that we've made. Um, hopefully all this will be filled and things will be a lot tidier. Although I can't promise anything. Um, so yeah. Here we go, I'm going to take you to the upstairs. So. This is what will become the guest quarters, which I'm hoping is going to be some income for me. Well, it will be some income for me. So as you see, I've taken out so far this piece here. That's because um, all my tall friends and family smacking their heads on there. So we thought we'd take it out. I'll sand it back and soften it. Um, make it look like it's always been there and then people won't bang their heads as much not sure what we're going to do with the door yet just to make it fit a little easier make it a bit more um, safe I don't know keep, keep some light out of there we have boarded up doors here and here um, which were to the bathroom and turned this room into a suite so as you can see we've cleaned it all back um, all the doors and everything are off at the moment and currently working on the ceilings just distressing those beams because I can't bear straight line beams in an old cottage I don't know what's going on there but yeah should not happening so that will be fully distressed in between the beams we will put um, some plasterboard which is insulation backed Let's see if we can have a quick look at the window excuse everything being a bit dusty at the moment but here we go we leave the shutters up here open for the now so we have beautiful views countryside in the hamlet As you see a bit of a pallet still there which needs to be put away again that should be gone by the next time I feel and this just takes us through this is what my um, friends and family have been helping doing so we've cut through here, which was a wardrobe and we've put in this atelier which it means workshop um, sliding door just saves on space without having doors opening into the rooms and at the moment as you can see it's just got a concrete base we've got a toilet here with a window um, a bathroom with shower and bidet a new sink to go in there because um, the old sink was very 1980s um, and these tiles will all go much to my mother's distress um, but I uh, just want something a bit cleaner, a bit more contemporary so here we go so this will be suite number one we like quirky so not so bothered about all the steps up and down because that's what this house is like. It's got steps everywhere. Then we go up into bedroom two, which is rather less done. Um, we've been removing radiators here and there. Um, we're going to put in, you might be able to see here, just the outline of what's going to be an ensuite. Um, there's going to be a shower cabin, toilet, bidet, and sink, and then a towel rail. So and again, another um, sliding door here. So that's what that is there. Um, so we need to build that. But the basics have been done. So we've made sure we've got drainage pipes that go out 
and we'll be joining those onto the sewerage system um, here on the septic tank and then we've got hot and cold water coming into the room as well also in here pulled back what was all boxed in um, which is this beautiful fireplace just like the other room and I just couldn't leave it like that I love original features so again that's been pulled back by me I cleaned all of that down it needs needs another going over and needs the all the stones and everything cleaning and then I will um reappoint repoint it put my teeth back in uh repoint it and yeah put some concrete just around the base a plaster around the base just to seal that and then seal the stones just to give this room a bit more character it's got this fantastic beam running through it fortunately all the beams have been painted white so again going to be attempting to sand those back um, and distress them so that they look in their original state um, I do prefer original wood if I can um, and then just lightly stain it with you know oils um, rather than painting or dark stains but it is what it is so we'll be treating them for woodworm and we will be staining them um, if I can't get all the paint off then maybe it'll just be like a shabby chic type finish again there's going to be plasterboard put between the beams just to insulate and finish that off the people that owned this house before did a fantastic job um everything that's been done in here was done to a really good standard just not necessarily my taste so yeah that's that's what we're going to do and hopefully that will give us a nice another double bedroom or twin bedroom haven't quite yet decided um with an ensuite and then we'll be able to do bed and breakfast we've had the electrician out to check everything um and to quote on putting in um, vents for the bathrooms and to put in extra lighting so there's going to be an extra light here in this hallway because it get, get quite dark i mean it's got this one here which kind of covers the stairs but since we've blocked up these two here it's quite dark in this space so yeah plan is ceiling rows coming down some sort of chandelier hopefully and this little cubby here this strange door halfway above the stairs is what was called the granary um, and the granary is effectively a loft so it's just my attic space and has like some of my old memories in it and um, Christmas decorations yuletide decorations so all we've done in there so far <laughs> all we've done in there so far is to finish the job that was started and that's to line all of this and then to put back up the insulation that had sagged and fallen down so not sure you can see that very well but yeah that's where we are at the moment sure I can show you that at another point it's not particularly interesting but yeah we'll probably jazz this up somehow finish this off and put new door furniture on So there we go. So welcome to my cottage. Welcome to my cats. Yes, hello Ben. They're very demanding. And I, they are my world. They aren't just my pets, they're my family. Although they're not as helpful as the other family. They they boss me around. So as you can hear so I'll be off I need to take rubbish to the tip I need to put tools back in the workshop and put um, things in the garage that are for sale over here you can't sell anything in the first year that you bring over so it's all going into the garage for storage until such time as I'm able to sell it unless it was something that was already here um, that I no longer want so off it will go. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this first trip 
and I'll see you all again in about a week's time. Hopefully I'll have made some progress and it'll be a bit tidier.